Classifying angles. An angle can be measured in degrees. A symbol for the degrees is a small raised circle above the number. A full circle is 360 degrees. Half of a revolution measures 180. That is what a line, a straight line measures 180. An angle that measures 180 is called a straight angle. And I put a little picture down here. And then I showed you what the symbols for each degree. And a symbol with an angle in front of it is an angle 90 degrees. Next picture. A quarter of a revolution measures a quarter of 360, which is 90 degrees. That angle is represented here. An angle that measures 90 degrees is called a right angle. The symbol for the right angle is this little L with a little box in the corner of it. It's used to denote, to denote, to denote a right angle. So ABC, angle ABC, is a right angle. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. So anything between 0 and 90 could be uh, called the acute angle. So this one's a 40 degree angle and this one's a 62 degree angle. Okay. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So 120 degree angle or a 95 degree angle. And most of the time we can measure these angles with a protractor. Classify each angle, whether it's acute, obtuse, right, or straight. B would be the right angle. I mean, I'm so sorry. A is the right angle. Look at this. B is the straight angle. C is the acute angle. And D is the obtuse angle. Identifying complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. So measure of R plus the measure of angle S, 60 plus 30 is 90. They would be considered uh, complementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that have a sum of 180 degrees. The angle M is 125 and angle N is 55 and together they equal 180. They would be considered supplementary angles. Find the complement of 48 degree angle. If you have a problem or a question like that, you would answer it by taking 90 degrees and subtracting from 48 degrees because a complement angle is a total of 90 degrees. And if you do that, then you would choose the 42. And on your test, they would have something that would be similar to it. So they could say 40, 42, 43, and then they'll have something a little obscure, 15 degrees that you would, uh, you know, just eliminate. Find the supplement of a 107 degree angle. Well, the supplement of an angle is 180, so you would take 180 and you would minus 107, and that would equal 73. And again, they would have something that would be similar, and then something that would be out of the ordinary process of elimination, and you do your math right, you get 73 degrees. Find the measure of angle X. Classify the angle X as acute, obtuse, or right angle. So angle X is over here, and I gave the answer in blue. But they told you angle Q, T, and S is 87 degrees. Then you would take away the 52 degrees, and you would get the 35 degrees. 87 minus 52 is 35, and a 35 degree angle would be called an acute angle. That one had two answers, and those were the two answers you would give. The next thing up is parallel lines. Parallel lines has a symbol of two lines that go up and down with one another. That's a symbol. So PQ is parallel to RS. And that's what that means is parallel to. Intersecting lines meet at a point. Lines L and K intersect at T. In our town here, our high street intersects with Mulberry Street, where our post office sits they would be intersecting lines. Our parallel lines would probably be our Highway 55 because one goes north and one goes south and they never really cross one another until you get the very end of them either to the bridge or to going south you would get to the shore. 
Perpendicular lines is when two lines intersect and form right angles. They go up and down straight kind of thing. Symbol for perpendicular lines would be this upside down T. And uh, M and N are perpendicular to one another. So then we go into vertical angles and adjacent angles. And I believe at this point we're going to stop this and then we'll pick this up for the next lesson. Thank you.